Welcome back. We're going to take you live now to Western Australia where Premier Mark McGowan's answering questions from journalists. He's announced the state will delay the next phase of their reopening plans and will charge return to travellers from Friday 17th July. Let's take a listen. And certainly the cap on international arrivals uh, will help us manage it. We're expecting, uh, without the cap, we are expecting our hotels to reach uh, capacity very, very shortly. And so, um, as we said, we've, unable to, we've been unable to control the flow of international arrivals who are Australians coming home. And it turns out, at any given point in time, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Australians living overseas. I learned today there's literally 100,000 in Hong Kong presently. So uh, there's just a massive number of Australians still overseas who haven't come home. Uh, the cap will slow the flow and it will allow us to manage them far better uh, than uh, what was going to happen, which was going to exceed our capacity to manage. I saw some figures the other week of 15 million or so dollars, but Roger might have other figures for you. Well, it's clearly a smaller risk than before. It allows for social distancing and better isolation between people uh, and it reflects our current risk profile. So as the Chief Health Officer, uh, Chief Health Officer outlined to you before, uh, this just reduces the risk at a major sporting event. Obviously, um, it won't be a happy day for Fremantle and Eagles supporters, but we're just doing our best to manage a health problem. We're going to we're going to provide uh, additional public transport, so there'll be able to be far greater um, uh, capacity for people to uh, distance and uh, not to be crowded on public transport. So for the crowd that is going, uh, there will be uh, much greater public transport provision that would ordinarily be provided for a crowd of this size. How much did that cost you? <laughs> Don't know what the Premier's having a giggle at. We've seen him lose it before about a jogger who had to stop for a kebab, maybe something similar this time. But WA announcing that anyone who goes back now will have to pay for their own hotel quarantine and they're delaying that last stage of opening up in WA because of the concerns coming out of Victoria. Victoria